evening everyone. Namaskar. I am from Scientific Spirituality. One of the only YouTube channels which gives the truth about Sanatan Dharma and reality. About what the science behind the Sanatan Dharma. Just on my left hand side, you can see. One of the tests is on EMF device. What is an EMF? EMF is the electromagnetic pulse. And I have with me a sensor which shows the EMF readings in and around the area of the stem. As you can see on my palm is a device which will give you a glimpse of what kind of electromagnetic force that is seen here. As you can see here, right now, we are getting a honest reading of about 271, 270 and this is a indication of a completely normal EMF reading which shows that the collection of positive and negative ions in this entire temple area is absolutely perfect. Now, why this is essential? Why the EMF reading has to come normal? Because normally when we uh, reside in cities, what happens is the electromagnetic fields around us, they negatively and positively charge us. Uh, human body is a physio-electric body. So according to that, the electromagnetic field that should actually be around us is actually what is showing, being shown on this device which is around 300 to 270 so which is an indication that there is a lot of positive energy here and which shows that this entire area is a divine area so this is one of the theories that our channel scientific spirituality has been developing for a very long time and in a very short time, we will go inside the precinct and right now there is an RT being going on. After the RT is done, we will go inside to we'll try to do the same EMF test on the shivling. Uh, there is also a gauze meter with me. Uh, in this gauze meter, as you can see right now, the reading is around B31.9 Tesla. If you can see, the reading is B32, B31. And this we are going to go inside and measure with the shivli. Now there is a popular thought behind the people in that this shivling is a swayambhu shivling, it is one of the twelve Jyotir links. But where did it originate from? How old is it? Nobody knows. Nobody has given any scientific research or thought to this very very important aspect. There are lakhs of people who come here from all parts of the world. But not a single person has, I think, in a scientific way ever tried to capture the real fact about this shivling. How old it is, how ancient it is, and what is the electromagnetic energy that is coming out of this shivling. So we are going to try and measure this out today. We are going to put this experiment before you and you decide. Thank you so much.